All right, so now uh, we actually want to get in another dimension, uh, the region dimension. And you're going to find out that if you're not working with global dimensions uh, like we were before, uh, it's going to get a little bit trickier to get you know, the extra shortcut dimensions in. And so we have to use something, um, some mechanic in there called analysis views or item analysis, uh, which calculates in the background sort of cubing of data. Um, to, it pre-processes the data for the sales reports to use. So if you want to get all of your dimensions in there, uh, not just the global dimensions, you're going to find yourself a little bit lost in the beginning because they're just not going to be there. Uh, unless you do this little magic trick that I'm going to explain to you right now. Okay, so we also had region um, and in the previous video we didn't really get into that. Uh, and now I want to actually break it up by, both by region and by um, customer group like we had done before. So if I go into my sales budgets again and go into the uh, coffee mark sales budget. I have here set the region filter uh, and the customer group filter is actually not set so I see everything but if I would set it to let's say medium it would filter that out. So now I want to talk about um, the Northwest for example. So we are doing some business there and uh, Starbucks coffee Seattle something. <laughs> Anyway, so we are going to look at the small customer groups and I'm going to type in some numbers for, for that. So we have here, let's say 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, and then down to 450, uh, 300, 250, 200 and then back up again 400 450 and 600 okay so I got some numbers in here uh, and now this is for Northwest small so you're probably thinking oh you just do the same thing you just add it to the lines etc and and we're good to go but there is a caveat this is not a global dimension so if I go into my sales budgets uh, I'm sorry, not the sales budget, but the sales analysis reports and go into edit. And I want to do the same thing as I did before, go into set up lines. And I'll just add in here, for example, the region somewhere, or even I might say this is small customer group in the northeast. Um, northeast small customer group. And uh, you can actually indent this if you want. Make it pretty. I'm sure there's even other ways. But anyways, so we have Northeast Small Customer Group. And I'll just go in here and put in the dimension. But there is no dimension. This is dimension three. Uh, it's not my region. So where is it? And, uh, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. <laughs> How do we get region here? All right, so we go out and go back. And so we are in this uh, analysis line, analysis column thingy. And if I actually take a look at, actually let's go back here, into analysis line template right here. So I have, as I'm setting up the lines for this, um, I have something called analysis view code on this side. And the whole purpose of that is to get your other dimensions in. So let's do that. So I'll open it up, click in here. Um, let's see if I can create a new one right here. Uh, does not seem to allow me to do that. That would have been nice though. Okay, well, if I try to do a new, Oh yeah, it does. Beautiful. Okay, so we have a sales analysis view card. Uh, I want to create a new one. This is basically for my dimension. So I'm going to call it just coffee mug item sales. Um, so 
So coffee mug item sales. There's no item filters or anything like that. I want all locations. I'm fine with that. Starting date is going to be uh, 1st to 1st, 2020. It doesn't ever take that, does it? So 01, 01, 2020, like that. Um, I want to include budgets. That's fine. And here I get to choose dimensions. And uh, in here, I'm definitely going to have the customer group. I hope it's going to be OK with that. And the region, I might as well just put in the item group because we're probably going to do something with that in a bit. Um, so why am I doing this? What's the big deal here? The big deal is that this is sort of a, like a cubing process for Business Central, which means that it grabs the data as it's being posted and puts it into the right format for these analysis views or these analysis reports to, to pick that up. So I'm going to enable on posting so it keeps it up as I'm posting. And it updated everything. So now we have entries right here. If I click update, it does nothing because we're up to date. But basically what it does, it sort of goes through the data that's in the background and configures it in a way where that data can be used by the analysis report. It's very mechanical. It's kind of an engine thing to set up. Um, sort of should just be set up automatically in the background. But it does have filters and stuff that you can use. So it, it, is, it is good. Um, Okay, and that's pretty much what it does. So if I close it out, I've created this item sales. And now uh, we, uh, let me see, okay. Now we can actually set that to be on the line for the sales analysis, this analysis view. And if I hit okay, um, and now I go into the lines, actually, uh, actions, set of lines, right here. Now you can see we have region code and item group code. Ah, interesting. It actually moved everything. So my small got moved into here because I it basically takes the dimensions in the order that I set them up for the other side. So, okay. A uh, small mistake on my part, but if you don't make mistakes, you don't learn, right? So it's okay to make mistakes sometimes. So we do it like this, and then I can put in my region. So I put in Northeast, and just follow that through. And this medium customer group is going to be in Northeast as well. Um, oops. And we'll maybe also indent that. And in the Northeast, etc. So just for argument's sake, I'll throw in the coffee mug right here for Northwest. So Northwest small customer group and 14 and I'll do the insert item uh, my coffee mug and it's small northwest and that should be it so let's bold this right here we're doing this and we can bold this and now we should be able to hit show matrix and as you can see everything is looking really nice uh, we have this month budget whatever happened nothing happened the difference next month uh, what happened budget difference and you can see it's picking up by region so northeast northeast northwest so it's coming together for us we're using dimensions all the way down to the ones that are hard to grab.